So there was a time when scientists hated the idea of the universe having a beginning. Not because the evidence wasn't there, but because it felt a little bit too much like religion, a moment of creation. It felt like science was surrendering to something it couldn't yet explain. As Stephen Hawking wrote in his book, Brief Answers to Big Questions, he says that scientists preferred to believe that the universe had always existed. Even Einstein bent his math to avoid the beginning. Other scientists mocked the idea with a name used as an insult, the Big Bang. A universe that just popped into being? That's too mystical, too close to faith, not scientific. But here's the thing. Today, we know that the universe had a beginning, not because we think God created it, huh? but because we have evidence that proves it. The universe is expanding. So if you trace back expansion backwards, it leads to a singularity, a starting point. The Big Bang is no longer a wild theory. It is backed by cosmic microwave background radiation, redshift data, and more. But it leaves us with a bigger question. We live in a universe that didn't always exist. So how does something come from nothing? 